Today we're going to talk about why some riders struggle going uphill or on the flats. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. Today's video, uh, we're going to discuss why if you're a lightweight rider, you thrive when the road goes up, but then you struggle with the same people when the road is flat or if you're riding into the wind. The reason is there's something called uh, crank inertial load. I'll talk about that first before we start talking about the obvious power to weight issue, power to weight ratios and you know watts per kilo. The crank inertial load is the momentum that you can maintain on the cranks when you're riding uphill or riding on the flats. When you're riding uphill, your cadence is slightly different, meaning your crank inertial load referred to as CIL, is low. Some riders thrive in low CIL conditions, and some riders have problems in high CIL where you require a faster cadence, like on the flats. Uh, generally, um, if you have a preponderance of fast twitch fibers, you favor high cadence performance, meaning that's what you just kind of naturally gravitate to that, as opposed to riders that have more slow twitch fibers that like slightly lower cadences. But let's talk more about the obvious. A lighter rider, let's say maybe 140 pounds or less, you know, probably like 60, 60 maybe less than 60 kilograms. Um, it's, just a, it's just a range, but basically, you know, a climber type. Climber, ride, climber type riders have problems when you're in the wind, but they can ride away from the same people as soon as the road goes up. You used to see Il Pirata, Pantani. As soon as the road would go up, he would come out of the pack like an angel and just take off. Same thing. That's what we're talking about here. The reason being is primarily you're dealing with power to weight. Now, your weight is constant. And all you're fighting is gravity against your weight. That doesn't change. So as a result, if you're a lighter rider, you don't need to put out as many watts to get up the climb watts per kilo, you may only need 300 watts, as opposed to a bigger rider may need 500 or more watts. And a lot of times it's hard to do 500 or more watts for more than 10, 15 minutes, depending on the, the capability and the training of that person. So because it's hard to hold a high watts per kilo for very long periods of time, a lot of bigger riders have a tendency to back off on the power and just grind and stay at their, their time trial, trial threshold as opposed to going with the lighter riders that like to accelerate frequently up a climb. Now, on the downhill, those bigger riders can reel that rider in because now he's fighting wind resistance. Wind resistance is not constant on like his weight. So when he was climbing, all he was concerned about is I'm going to put out this wattage because this is my weight that I got to overcome. And since I'm lightweight, that's how come he rides away. Well, you get on a downhill or on a flat road into the wind. As you go faster, the aerodynamic drag increases. That means you, ha you are fighting more resistance. The faster you go, the more drag. That's what happens on the flat road. So the bigger riders that are used to having to put out 450, 500 or more watts, when they train because they're big and they're trying to overcome their power to weight ratio deficit per se, they put out more watts versus the smaller riders. Now, it doesn't mean that smaller riders can't put that out, but they don't train like that. We all have a tendency to do what, we, what we're good at. So if, you like, if you're good at sprinting, you have a tendency to do a lot of sprinting. If you're good at climbing, you have a tendency to do a lot of climbing. Smaller riders, it takes a lot of work to put out those higher watts. You gotta work hard and it hurts. So they don't train like that most of the time. That's the problem. That's why they have problems in time trials generally. Doesn't mean they can't improve, but they're gonna to have to focus and work on that. But that's the primary reason. So just to summarize, because a smaller rider is only fighting against his weight versus the gravity, power to weight ratio, his weight being constant, he can put out a constant uh, amount of watts, let's say 300 watts, because he's lighter, he doesn't need to put out 450 or 500 watts to get up that hill pretty quickly. So since he needs less wattage because he's lighter, he can go up that climb faster 
and he can sustain that because there's a lower output of power. The bigger rider who wants to keep up with him might have to put out 500 or more watts, depending on how big he is. And that's harder to maintain for a long period of time. You know, you can train and increase the amount of time you can spend putting out that power, but it's not a whole lot of fun. Then you come to a flat road or going downhill. Well, a bigger rider who's having to put out more watts all the time anyway, when the wind resistance increases as the speed increases, because remember when you're climbing, your speed's slower. So everything is completely different. So now when, the, when your speed starts going up, since you're primarily fighting wind aerodynamic drag, you know, AKA wind resistance per se, you have to continue to put out more power as you go faster and it becomes exponential. So you put out a tremendous amount of power to just gain a little bit more speed. And that's why a lot of times, uh, especially when I used to compete, my coach used to say, wait till you come to a hill or something to really ride hard. Like in a time trial, he would say on the downhills or on the flat, conserve your energy and wait for that hill on the hill work hardest on the hill because he said you you would lose more time if you were not working hard on the hill and you also gain time if you are working hard so if you're gonna put the effort anywhere he said do it on the uphill work less on the downhills and on the flat so that's the way you would keep your overall time high in that kind of terrain so that's that's what it is guys so if you're finding that you can ride up the clouds like a, to the, towards the clouds like an angel and you're having trouble on the flat, you're going to have to divide your training and spend a little more time generating more watts to be able to deal with the aerodynamic drag that you encounter on the, on the flats if you're a small guy. If you're a big rider, don't go chasing those guys jumping around on the climbs. Set your own tempo and you will draw them back. You know, you set your own tempo because they can only do that so much or so many times. They're going to have to settle down. So if you stay within yourself, even if it's an uphill finish, you can probably still peg them back. Okay? So that's what I wanted to cover today. And I hope that you all get a chance to keep getting your case 